Hi, a very good day to all of you. Welcome to our Google Classroom video guide for students. Now, Google Classroom is a learning platform that allows students such as yourself and lecturers to communicate easily. You can find and even download extra course materials, announcements, and also submit your assignments and courseworks in Google Classroom at any day, any time. So, let's get started on how you can use this powerful tool. The first thing that you'd want to do is to go into classroom.google.com. Once you're in this Google account screen, key in your Austin email address and your personal password. This would be given to you by our student services. Now, if you do not know what your Austin email address is, please approach our friendly student services at the front counter. Now, once you have keyed in your email address, your password, simply click on sign in. Congratulations, this is your Google Classroom page. Your respective lecturers would either give you a class code or invite you to join a class. Now, if you were given a class code to join, simply click on the plus sign at the top right hand corner right beside your email and enter your class code. So for this example, EBBZ. 77C and we click on join. And here it is. Welcome to your new class. All right, on the other hand, if you were invited to join a class by your lecturer, you would be notified through your Austin email. So therefore, open up the email title class invitation and your class name and click on join and there you go you're now in your new class okay let us go back and take a look at all the classes that we have enrolled or joined so what we have to do is to click on this icon over here and click on classes here as we can see we have joined two classes now let us go into our first class there are three main items you should look out for. Announcements, assignments, and questions. Let us first take a look at announcements. More often than not, your lecturers would post relevant PowerPoint slides, module descriptors, as well as any extra course materials for you to download. Remember that this is a value added benefit for you to acquire more knowledge on relevant topics pertaining to your modules. Announcements might also give you some instructions on what to bring and or expect in your next class as well as any changes in class schedule might also be reflected here in the announcements. You might ask, how do we download course materials from Google Classroom? So what we have to do is to click on the file that you would want to download. Click on this three dot icon over here open a new window and then you click on this download arrow all right let us go back into our class and we shall talk about your coursework and assignment submission remember that all courseworks must be submitted on Google classroom here is an example of an assignment created to you by your lecturer if you need to download your coursework materials, you may click on this attachment here and download it. And let's take for example, if you have already completed your coursework, what you have to do is to click on open and we click on add and click on file. So this is where you can drag and drop the files that you would want to submit. So what you have to remember, most of the times, lecturers would want your coursework, your PowerPoint slides, your presentation PowerPoint slides, as well as the Turnitin report. So let us highlight all three of them and drag into Google Classroom. Okay, and now we click on Upload. Once the uploading is done, you simply click on 
turn in, which means that you are going to submit your coursework. And we click on this again to confirm. And there you have it. Your assignment has been turned in. Now, for questions. Sometimes, lecturers might want to give you some homework or provide your class with relevant topics to discuss. Google Classroom allows students to have open discussions. Here's one example. Explain with relevant examples the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Here, you can type in your answer and then you click on submit. So, for example, test answer 1 and we click on submit. Your classmates can also do the same and you can also view their answers. Shall we take a look at their answers? There you go. Now, this allows for transparent discussion where you, your classmate, as well as your lecturer could learn in an interactive and dynamic environment online. You can also reply to each person's or each classmate's answer. And there you have it. We have now come to the end of our Google Classroom video guide for students. Remember, work hard, work smart, and work your way to your dreams. <laughs>